Executive pay isn't the only focus of government reform of the financial markets. The government also wants to have over-the-counter derivative trades cleared on market exchanges in order to reduce systemic risks. What's the potential impact of that on those exchanges? Joining us now is Michael Wong, an analyst at Morningstar who covers these stocks. Welcome. Oh, hi. So, so far, critics have said the only thing this talk of regulation has done is send derivatives trading business overseas. Is that a fair point? Um, it's a fairly good point. As long as there's room for regulatory arbitrage, if the U.S. is harsher on the derivatives trading here than the um, regulatory authorities are in Europe, then it's a definite possibility that the OTC contracts will just go to a foreign venue. Kind of sounds like it's going that direction, that it will be a tougher regulatory environment here in the U.S., especially for this kind of trade. Um, definitely. Um, we definitely see that the U.S. and the government regulars will be cracking down on some of the OTC derivative transactions. The thing is, and the key point to focus on, is whether the European authorities will go in match step with the U.S. As long as they're in match step with the U.S., you won't see great flows out towards the European trading venues. So explain what the exchange's role would be under this derivatives regulation reform. The main role of the derivatives exchanges under these reforms would be for them to provide a central clearinghouse. The purpose of the reforms is to add some transparency into the market and to reduce systematic risk. With the margining requirements at the exchanges and the reporting that will be done with the, all the trades executed at that clearinghouse, um, the transparency and the systematic risk purposes will be fulfilled. Okay, so you, you are in agreement that the exchanges offer the best solution to be a clearinghouse for these kinds of trades, these derivatives trades, like credit default swaps, et cetera, is that we're talking about? Um, yes, definitely. Um, CDSs, interest rate swaps, um, OTC, FX, um, if these things go to the clearinghouses, it'll improve lots of the parts of the market that were a bit dysfunctional um, in the past few quarters. Okay, will it be an added cost to the exchanges to accommodate these new rules? Um, it's a, it'll be a cost to the exchanges, but it's also an opportunity. Um, the OTC derivatives market is huge, um, maybe approximately 600 trillion um, notional outstanding at the end of 2008. That said, um, the revenue and actual profit opportunity may not be as large as some people think. Um, ICE gave out guidance earlier this year for their CDS clearing. They thought maybe they would receive net revenues of 30 million for the year and 20 million of expenses. 10 million of net income compared to their 300 million of net income in 2008 isn't a great impact to their bottom line. Great statistics rattling off the top of your head there, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Michael oh, Wong sure. is an analyst with Morningstar covering the exchanges.